Hi guys, this is Andy Murphy from Where Wild Ones Roam. And in this video, I'm gonna go over our top five tips for if you're doing an extended or seasonal stay in your RV. These tips come from personal experience as we have actually been traveling around the United States since 2018, but recently have had needed to sit still for a couple months while we've had our new baby. So these have been things we've focused on and things we've learned in this process and wanted to pass them along. The first tip is about covering your tires. Now this one sounds pretty simple and it really is. It's just about putting a cover over your tires. What's important about this is taking the UV direct sunlight off your tires. That's gonna be the number one things that dry out your tires and can actually shorten their life expectancy. If your tires are in the sun a lot, they actually might dry out before they wear out. So this is a good way to extend the life of your tires without having to do too much maintenance, especially if you're sitting still and those tires are just sitting in the sun. The second tip is to keep your fluids in check. Now this is going to change kind of greatly depending on what type of RV you have. Uh, if you're in a travel trailer, you might only be worried about like freshwater tanks and gray and black water tanks. In my fifth wheel, we actually have an onboard generator. So we carry gasoline and propane on board. And if you're in a motor home, it could be more extensive for the entire motor, power steering fluid, for brake fluid and everything you need to maintain your motor. Your checklist will change based on your rig, but keep it up to date. That way, if there ever is an emergency or you need to move due to maybe a natural disaster, your rig is still in tip top shape and able to move and keep being safe. The third tip is to keep your roof sealant in check as well. This one has personally cost me money in the past with an older RV of ours, and we've just had some of that die core dry out and cause roof leaks. It's actually not that much work. I keep a couple sticks of die core on us all the time regardless, but every couple months, I would say at least every six months, I go up there and I am checking the die core. In this particular spot, we are almost in full sun all day. So I'm gonna go up every three months, especially in the summer, and just make sure nothing's drying out too fast. Uh, but keep that in check, and that way if there is any rain, you don't get water going inside your roof and down a wall and sitting somewhere, that can save you a lot of money. Tip number four is keeping the exterior RV washed and cleaned. This can be much harder than it probably should be in a lot of places. I know a lot of campgrounds don't allow you to wash your RV, especially if you're stationary, but this is so important to keep one, not only your paint and your exterior, like stickers or anything else you've got on there, um, protected from the UV, but it also just helps you maintain your RV and keep it looking nicer for longer periods of time. And it's a great way to check to make sure there's no bug nests or spider webs, or it just kind of keeps your whole outside clean so you don't have to deal with anything that can kind of creep up on you later. And that kind of leads into my fifth tip, which is you gotta do kind of weekly or almost daily walk arounds. We've had a lot of storms here. They keep knocking over my sewers. Um, but in other times I have found wasp nests underneath slides. And so it's important to continue to do those walk arounds. I didn't when we were traveling. I was doing them every week anyways, as I was traveling around, as we were packing up. But now that we're stationary, I have found a couple weeks where I'm like, I haven't seen the other side of my RV. So make sure you're walking around and just kind of always keeping an eye on things. So things can change and you wanna stay ahead of it. All right, guys, I hope you found these tips helpful. We hope to see you on the road. Bye.